These are some of the measures of spread that we're going to be looking at in the GCSE statistics course. Now we have range, interquartile range, so that's IQR, interpercentile ranges, and there's also interdecile ranges. Okay, so interpercentile is when the uh, the whole thing is split into 100 equal sections. Interdecile will be into 10, and then you've got standard deviation. Okay, so. Um, so what exactly is going on here? So let's see. So range uses the largest value and the smallest value. So therefore, you may actually be using an outlier to calculate the range. Okay, so that's something about the range. Uh, but it does tell you the full range of the data. So that might be a positive there. Interquartile range uh, goes through uh, the range of uh, the 25th percentile up to the 75th percentile. So interquartile range is actually an interpercentile range as well. Okay, so it's the 25th to 75th into percentile range. So this will not take into account the outliers, and this one's also used to um, consider whether certain data points are, out, um, are outliers. Okay, so this one can be useful in that way. Interpercentile range uh, is a bit more flexible than interquartile range because you just choose. So you can choose to go from 20th to 80th percentiles, okay, or 10th to 90th percentiles, or you can choose. Okay, you can think, okay, this section of the data is um, uh, are outliers or something like that, and then you can choose how to decide what your interpercentile range will be. Now, standard deviation takes into account all the values, so you get um, all the values included in this calculation, okay? So it will take into account all the values and give you a measure of spread uh, using that. Now, again, you have to maybe sometimes compare them or say what, why one is better than the other, okay? And um, choose one over, it, over the other in a certain scenario. You should also know that um, these, these um, names of these measures of spread, so for, for example, range or interquartile range or interpercentile range or standard deviation, these are not commonly known in the general public, okay? So if, if you are stating that the interquartile range is something in an article, um, people may not know what that means. Or if you state what the standard deviation is, people may not know what that means. And it might take them a while to work out what exactly it is, how it's worked out, and what it's used for. So uh, sometimes you, you should um, notice that sometimes we, we don't mention these things, but we use them to interpret. Okay, So we, we, st we, we use them to compare, and then we interpret, and then the interpretation goes out to the general public so that they can make some meaning from it.